Hey guys, so we have the full information finally for the Part 2 LRs coming on the top Legendary Summon banner in about two days from now, so let's go ahead and take a look. I actually haven't taken a look at them at all. This is me going in completely blind, probably same as a lot of you guys, so let's go take a look. So we have Vegeta slash Goku, which means this is an exchange unit, Saiyan Pride, um, so let's see the details here. Extreme Int, so it looks like... I mean, we knew Vegeta was going to be extreme, right? That's what they do with Vegeta and Namek, and then Goku would probably be super. Um, so he has a Planet Namek Saga category lead, which is actually good, because I actually think um, the Frieza as a lead for like a super a super class-based Planet Namek Saga team is not the best. So this might be a better leader for that team. A little bit low. I mean, Kibo's 430% across the board is not the best leader skill, but it, it's, it's okay. Um, all right, so it looks like the links brutal beatdown prodigy Saiyan pride Saiyan warrior race prayer battle first battle legendary power They seem pretty good um, Planet Namek saga pure Saiyans, dragon ball seekers for Jesus family and human deeds gifted warriors planetary destruction and powerful comeback And the passive is Vegeta's pride key plus three and attack plus 150% so no defense at the start of turn um, plus an additional key plus two and defense plus 150% when HP is 30% or more. Okay, so that's very easy to get um five extra key is actually really good <laughs> that, that is good with prepare for battle um and uh oh, that's it actually that's his only key link huh prepare for battle yeah um plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when attacking that's good if hp is 29 percent or less at start of character's attacking turn revives with 70 percent hp uh by exchanging with goku when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is case so he has the revival mechanic Okay, this is what we wanted. We wanted a Vegeta with a revival mechanic. I'm assuming his animation is going to be like his dying speech, which I, you know, this is very obviously something they left out of the celebration. So we were hoping this guy would have it, which looks like he does. So 29% HP. That is very low. That's like LR int cell pretty much, right? Um, but the good thing about that is that it's the only condition that he has. He doesn't have to get hit a certain amount of times. He doesn't have to do anything else. Just have to enter the turn with 29% HP or less. I don't think that's something you're going to be able to like try and get. It's just something that's going to happen, right? So let's keep going here. The super attack effect for the 12 key super attack is a massacre breaker. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Um, and then the ultra super is the amazing impact. Uh, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal. Okay, so nothing super insane there. Um... And then these are the same conditions. Yeah, he exchanges with Goku once only. Um, he seems pretty good. Uh, he's going to do a lot of damage. I mean, 150% attack plus an extra 50% when attacking as an LR. What are his stats? So he's in. He's going to have 5,000 across the board. Yeah, 21,200 attack is a lot. Defense is actually a little low. It's going to be 11,100. I mean, it's not low, but it's not like anything crazy, I don't think. But the, the attack is pretty nice. All right, so let's take a look at the exchanged Goku here. So, um, let's see. So, the Lynx, all in the family, Kamehameha and Saiyan Lynch. All in the family is going to be pretty nice because of the fact that that is a 20 key link, I think, at link level 10. Saiyan Lynch is an additional key link. Or, sorry, 20 defense link. Did I say key? 20 defense link. 20% defense. This is a key link. Kamehameha is pretty uh, universal. Like, you can share that with LR Namek Goku. Um, then the new passive is carrying on his pride. It's key plus three attack and defense plus 159%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when forming a super attack. That's really good. Plus an additional key plus three and reduces damage received by 30% when there is an extreme class enemy. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. High chance of forming critical hit when there is a planet Namek Saga category enemy, so. I mean, freezes, right? That's that's pretty much, pretty much what, what you want this guy to be used against is freezes. Um, the 12 key is the Key Blast Cannon. Raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes colossal damage. Yeah, the 18 key is the Faint Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal. That, that's good. Um, and that looks like that's going to be it for this Goku. So, like, no active skill or anything like that. Just a revival mechanic, which is pretty cool. Uh, no, like, super attack nullification. This guy's going to be hitting hard. Um, I don't think he's going to be hitting anywhere close to as hard as the LR Namek Goku, the one we got for part one. Um, but, you know, in terms of key, he should be pretty good. He's getting an extra three here. He's getting a three here when uh, performing 
or no, when he's fighting an extreme class enemy, okay. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually going to be hitting really, really hard, actually. Okay, I'm excited to see how much this guy's going to be hitting for. But I mean, in terms of like get, actually getting to this Goku, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't think it's going to be something that you can like actively control on your own because it's going to be 29% or lower HP. It's just going to happen. Like LR Int Cell. How often do you guys get LR Int Cell's transformation? Once in a while, I would say. It's not something that's like super uncommon, but it's not something you can reliably get. So this guy looks cool. Um, I'm excited to test them out. I'm gonna, we're going to take a look at their animations in a second after we take a look at Krillin and Gohan here. Um... I actually, before we even start looking at them, I, I think these guys actually might be like really good. <laughs> like they're releasing a summonable LR Krillin and Gohan. Like I don't think they would make these guys bad. <laughs> okay, this is this is the, this is the second one. Let's go up to the first one here. All right, so this is Krillin and Gohan Kid Dilemma on the Battlefield. So their leader skill is the Rapid Growth category. Makes sense. K plus four, one thirty across the board, or AGL one E plus four hundred percent. Passive is Exchange of Thoughts, Attack and Defense plus 130%, and a medium chance of evading enemy's attack. That's a 30% chance. They get an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. Okay, so they have like the LR Int Gohan mechanic. Plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. And then they launch an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when key is 24. Changes into a battle suit when conditions are met. Huh. So I guess that's their active skill or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. But that is actually, <laughs> they seem really good. The fact that they get an extra buff at 24 key um, with the, you know, launching additional attack. Plus they have the LR Gohan mechanic. Like that's really, really good. What, what uh, typing are they? AGL. Okay. They're AGL. So... Yeah, I think that's actually fine. They're super AGL. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. Um... Links are Kamehameha, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, First Battle, Legendary Power. I mean, Shocking Speed, that's good that they have that. Cold Judgment's a nice link. Solid Support, I mean, it's not that bad. In Fighter is okay. Kamehameha is good. They're actually, their link set is not terrible. Um, it's not, like, exceptional. They don't have, like, Saint Warrior Race, Prayer for Battle, stuff like that. But, they, you know, First Battle, Legendary Power, Shocking Speed, and, like, Kamehameha are all pretty common. Um, so they're going to share at least three links with the LR dynamic Goku, right? Uh, okay, so let's see. They have an active skill, release your power. Can be activated starting from the third turn from the start of the battle. It's a very, very easy to get active skill, and they actually do get 24 key for one turn. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily super impactful just because they already have the extra key mechanic, but that's really good just to guaranteed get the additional uh, attack buff, right? Um, when you're at 24 key, so... Or the, the additional um, the additional attack performed buff, I guess I should say. So that's pretty good. Uh, they're on Rapid Growth, Planet Namek Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, Joined Forces, and Coming Out. Yeah, unfortunately, this is where they're going to be a little bit hurt here, I think, is the category list. Like, they're not on that many good teams. I mean, Rapid Growth, they could really uh, use the help, so that's good. Planet Namek Saga, obviously, is, I think, where you're going to want to run them. And I, I think, I mean, Piccolo would actually be pretty good with them, wouldn't he? I feel like Piccolo... I don't remember if Piccolo has Cold Judgment or not. I believe he does. I think he also actually has solid support, and maybe he has infighter. I, don't know. <laughs> I actually don't remember what links Piccolo has, but I feel like he actually is designed to work pretty well with these with these characters. And then on top of that, if he's going to be rainbow orb changing, it's going to be way easier for these guys to get their 24 key off, right? Um, okay, so there's super attack effects. They have the uh, let me just see something. Quick combo is 12 key super attack. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to the enemy. Uh, okay, so that's you know pretty basic. The Ultra Super Attack is the Kamehameha and Masenko, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal damage. Let me just check their defense real quick. So they're getting 130%. Yeah, I mean, just based off of the passive, their defense doesn't seem like it's going to be anything too insane because they're only getting 130 and then like this attack buff doesn't include defense. They're not getting anything else from this. Um, defensive stat is going to be really high. <laughs> That's like 14,000 plus defense they're getting from this. And their attack's going to be at um, like yeah, hovering around like 19.5k. So defensively, in terms of like the raw stats, they're going to be really good. Um, they're greatly raising their defense on 18 key, and then they're also going to be raising their defense on 12 key, which is going to happen fairly often because you're going to have a chance to get an additional from their passive. So that seems pretty good. 
Um, and then the outfit change details. Changes into a battle suit upon entering next attacking turn after performing four or more super attacks in battle. Um, okay, well, I mean, we, we all know how good that is. I mean, okay, so for a unit like, I don't know, uh, LR, uh, Angel Golden Freeze N17, it's kind of annoying. But for, you know, like Int LR, or not LR, but Int Broly, the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, it's much easier to see something like this uh, fulfilled condition wise because of the fact that he can do multiple supers per turn. Same thing with these characters. I mean, they, they're going to have a high chance to do an additional super attack with with 24 key, which is a 50% chance. So, And you can also get the additional from the hidden potential system after that as well. So actually, I mean, it's not, it's not, I wouldn't really call this a like fantastic condition. But I wouldn't really say it's like terrible either. So we'll see how that plays out. So here we go. This is where they're exchanged or you know changed into their battle suits here. The plan of this, I guess the Saiyan battle armor, right? Um, okay. So actually, this is technically a transformation. I mean, <laughs> they're 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 change, They're calling the um, the out the costume change a transformation, which is pretty cool. All right. So attack and defense plus 150 percent. Medium chance of evading enemy's attack. Uh, plus additional key plus one per key to obtain. That's the same. Plus another additional key plus one if it is a rainbow. Okay, so with rainbow keys, they're actually getting an extra two key, which is cool. Uh, again, going to work really well with Piccolo. Plus an additional attack plus 50% and medium chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack when performing a super attack. Um, huh. They already have a medium chance of evading enemies attacks, and now they're getting another medium chance. So is that... I don't know if we've seen that before. They gain a certain chance of evading a super attack when they launch a super attack. Or they gain a certain chance of evading an enemy's attack when they launch a super attack. Does that... Okay, so we obviously we know a medium a medium chance is a 30% chance. Does that 30% chance get added to this? So they're going to be at a 60% chance to evade once they launch the super attack? Um, I don't know. And then they launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 24. So that is a 70% chance. So this obviously is a much stronger passive here. Uh, this, yeah, them, once they have this this battle armor on, like they're gonna be really, really good. Um, and it looks like you can still activate their active skill and everything like that too, so that's pretty good. And it looks like their super attacks don't change either. So it's not like they're getting a massive, massive buff from uh, exchanging. I mean, I would actually argue the great chance of the super attack for, with 24 key and the rainbow keys for thing is pretty good. I mean, they're also getting 20% more, 20 percent more attack and defense from the uh, start of turn buff too. But yeah, they're uh, they're looking pretty good. I think it's hard to tell right now who's going to be better because right now I think like looking at these guys on paper, this Krillin and Gohan is better to me than the Vegeta. But in terms of like like normal stuff like links and categories and whatever vegeta just is going to be better because he's a saiyan right and he's just on so many different more so many more categories and, and his links are just going to be better with prepare for battle all the saiyan links so we'll see let's go ahead and take a look at the uh let me just refresh this they, they posted the oh they actually wow global didn't post global didn't <laughs> post the super attack are you kidding me all right, let me uh, pause real quick, and I will open up the JP Super Tax. All right, so here we are on the JP Twitter. Unbelievable that Global's always so slow to do this. Um, we're going to take a look at the um, animations for the Krillin and Gohan, and then go up and take a look at the animations for the Vegeta Goku Exchange unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at Gohan and Krillin first. Gohan. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, obviously, this first stack of skills when they're powering up versus Goldo, right? Initially, when they land there and they're like powering up in front of the whole Guinea Force, and they're like, what, what, "How are they doing this?" Um, 
This one, yeah, I mean, they have the correct enemies too, right? This is the attack they do against Guldo, I think. And then, obviously, this is when they're in the Frieza spaceship with Vegeta getting their new outfits. And then this attack is what they use against second form Frieza, so uh, pretty cool. Let's go take a look at Vegeta. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. I just want to see the de the dying speech. That's that's my actually my all-time favorite Vegeta scene ever. So hopefully they do the, that justice here. Yes, they did the thing. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, that's uh, one of the best LR animations, I think. Just overall, everything that this, this the unit does right here. So obviously this first animation is when he's uh, killing Jeez. So they have their correct enemy here, obviously. Um, so he kills Jeez with that. I believe this 18 key super attack is actually against Ginyu Goku, yeah. I think this is what he does against Ginyu Goku with like the, the T-pose. Yeah, I believe that's, that's accurate. Um, yeah, because I remember he kicks him into the mountain and then he comes down like that. Uh, obviously he didn't have a hole in his outfit at that point in time but you know um then obviously this is the dude this is the best part of this unit <laughs> this this exchange like i'm just i don't know how often we're gonna be able to see this man come on 29 percent health i want to see this like ever what if you just entered the fight and he just did this turn one <laughs> like you just you just exchange with goku turn one no matter what your health was and stuff like that that would be <laughs> this is this is such a good exchange active skill or whatever you want to call it animation and then, if you guys saw uh, saw my prediction for the initial Part 1 Goku and Freeza units, I actually had the Goku as a transforming unit, and the 12 key super attack was literally this right here, where he pushes his foot off the ground and go launches himself at Frieza and does like you know the black and you know the black the black screen where he appears and like does all the all the punches and kicks there. So that's perfect. And then this attack right here is when Goku was underwater. And he was trying to use a sneak attack on Frieza with the, with the Kamehameha's, but it's like this, I believe this is the only time we saw him do this. Maybe did it against Cooler at one point, but I, I know for sure that this was underwater against Frieza's fight. Um, all right, so then he does that. Yeah, and then he goes up and he does the, the, the double the double foot kick there and he knocks Frieza away. And that's really, I think this is really the first time where we see Goku get like a really really solid shot against Frieza in that fight so they did a really good job at um, at picking the the animations for the, this, this unit the only thing we're missing I mean honestly is the Kaioken uh, the Kaioken 20 times 20 Kamehameha they don't have that yet technically I think the animation that they use for the, um, the STR Goku that they brought back that hasn't been on banners in forever his super attack once he's awakened is that Kamehameha but he's not Kaioken so it's very weird that they did it that way but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very content with these units. They look really, really awesome. Let me know down below what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one.